Hi YouTube, it's me Sharia and I this is episode two of my car chronicles and it this time we are talking about my ongoing debt-free journey struggles. I shared um, a debt-free journey struggles video back in October and since then it's been one of my highest viewed um videos and my struggles still continue um they are a little different and i don't necessarily know if i have five or if i'm aware of five right now but i have noticed these three um more now um so i'm just gonna jump right in and share them with you so my first struggle is uh it's not necessarily my struggle but i guess it is and I don't like focusing on problems and I'm trying to get to solutions. And that's what makes it a struggle for me is I can't figure out a solution or the best solution for this issue or these issues. So my first struggle is that now that I am on this journey and I have a different mindset where I don't necessarily need new things uh, to make me happy or they don't, you know, validate me, but... I do well let me say this I don't necessarily need expensive things to make me happy or validate me um, I am really trying to create like happy moments live more intentional create happy moments and happy spaces in my home and you know those type of things happy thoughts and um, I recently created the coffee station that I keep talking about and obviously because having a cup of coffee in the morning and having that alone time to myself not only makes me happy but it sets me it allows me to gather my thoughts and it gives me that personal time that I need and I've noticed I've had a whole lot more productive day because I'm in such of a better mood so I, that was the, the the motivation behind creating a coffee station in my home plus it was just really cute um so I set the coffee station up on Sunday. I bought the condiments like a uh, coffee creamer and whipped cream and all these different types of condiments, you know, coke, cinnamon sticks and all this different stuff. And I wasn't able to have coffee Sunday evening because it would have kept me up all night. And then I didn't necessarily make the time to have it on Monday because I had to be at the hospital by 6.45. But I intentionally woke up at 5 o'clock on yesterday so that I could go ahead and get everything out of the way and still have 30 to 45 minutes before I woke the kids up to myself to enjoy a cup of coffee so I made the coffee and I'm getting ready to prepare it in my favorite mug and all my coffee creamer is gone as well as my whipped cream and so I wake the kids up and I start to investigate what happened to my coffee creamer I just bought it well I end up finding out that my son my two boys my son, my son and my stepson decided to make milkshakes. And so they used, uh, my son used milk and coffee creamer. And then he topped it off with whipped cream. And my stepson liked what my son was drinking after he tasted it, but did not realize that it was half milk and some coffee creamer and whipped cream so he poured a whole cup of coffee creamer like a whole eight ounce glass of coffee creamer and then he didn't even drink it like it was a third of third of the glass full and so that was my whole coffee creamer wasted and they used the hell out of the whipped cream like the whole can is gone so i was very upset but my thing, what I'm struggling with is how to make my kids feel, be more money conscious. But they are so wasteful at home that it's starting to, it, it has started to aggravate me and it has become a struggle because I, one, I'm aware of it and I'm mad that you're wasting my money and my time on things like five paper towels to clean up the spill instead of getting a towel um, squeezing out a little bit of toothpaste before you put the toothpaste on your toothbrush although you have your own tube of toothpaste pouring full cups of milk but only having time to drink 
this much milk um wasting food that i know you eat but you just don't want to eat it or not eating leftovers things like that like just wasting just wasting money and it's frustrating me and so if you have a solution for that on you know what i can do to make my kids more aware or some tips on how i can just distract myself from it my second struggle is that I'm still considering credit and it's been more recent now because I just paid off all my credit cards November 30th um, and I was distracted with Christmas for in December but now um, I don't know if it's because I well I am more conscious more credit conscious but I am starting to see a whole lot more opportunities where stores I'm starting to see a whole lot more stores that offer 0% financing for this extended amount of time. And I'm starting to consider it. Let me just say, though, and I, some people may not realize what difference this makes, but I'm a Libra. So I have very long, con and if you know, the Libra sign is a scale. And part of or a Libra trait is indecisiveness. And I am indecisive. And I have long conversations <laughs> with myself before I make a decision like it took me two hours to decide to get an iPhone over a Galaxy S because I am indecisive and I want I really have to be confident about my decision when I make it or I will beat myself up about the decision I made so um I've been having those thoughts of getting back into credit and my argument my conversation with myself a lot of times is is zero percent finance and so it's almost like paying cash but it's not like paying cash because you're not paying cash um i've paid off you know nine thousand ten thousand dollars worth of credit card debt so i could surely pay off seven hundred two thousand something like that so those are the the reasons i consider but then i also say you know it starts off with just one credit card with a two thousand dollar limit and then you get another one and then you get another one because you become comforted by the instant gratification so i haven't quite taken the plunge back into credit yet but i'm i'm struggling with the fact that i'm even considering it and having the conversation about it so part of how i've decided to um deal with that struggle is to start back listening to dave ramsey i stopped listening to dave ramsey because i don't follow dave ramsey to the t and not following him to the t made me feel worse about myself than it did make me feel better about myself and where i am on the journey so i stopped listening to him i also stopped reading a lot of um, personal finance blogs partially because I compare myself, which I shared in my last struggle, and comparing myself was making me feel worse about my progress as opposed to better. The other reason is a lot of the personal finance blogs are trying to make money, which I understand, but I'm trying to get out of debt. So my third struggle, I know I had three, but I don't remember what the third one was. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and like this video please comment i really adore the comments like i just cannot express enough how much i enjoy the comments and um i will catch you on the next episode peace out bye so i figured out my third struggle my third struggle is that now that i have paid off the credit card debt and i have a substantial amount of income um more income of ex available income after I pay my bills although I am still working to pay off my car um I feel like I deserve to treat myself more and sometimes more is eating out more sometimes more is taking on two crafting projects as opposed to one at a time um sometimes more is not going to work like missing a shift when I would have never done that while I I never did it while I was playing off credit card debt paying off credit card debt but now I'm like mm, I cannot go and or I cannot see that patient or I cannot you know take on that client I'm I'm good um 
sometimes more is I don't know so I just feel like I deserve more like I feel like whereas it was it was like a hurry up and finish um hurry up and finish while I was on paint trying to pay off credit card debt it's more like mm, you got time I'm just less aggressive with it I guess and I'm struggling with that because I do want to really pay off my car but not at the expense of the same sacrifices I made to pay off my credit cards. So I guess that is my struggle. Is that I I don't have the same amount of motivation and drive. And I'm struggling with that. I'm looking, whereas with my credit cards, I was like, gosh, I want, I cannot wait to get these paid off. I'm tired of dealing with these credit card companies. I'm tired of making these big payments. Now my mindset is like, mm, I got to December I pay, you know, half of a payment this month, but I, then I'm going to do this, and I'm going to work really hard in the summertime, and I'll catch up. You know, that's my attitude now, but I feel like in November when I'm my car is not, you know, two or three payments from being paid off, I'm going to beat myself up like crazy, so... You know, but it's a struggle, and I'm trying to restructure my mindset, which is again is why I'm back listening to Dave Ramsey, and I'm following a whole lot more channels on YouTube channels, um, on YouTube, duh, um, about getting out of debt and you know taking tidbits of their journey. I'm just now coming to the fact, I'm just now realizing that I don't have to follow Dave Ramsey. Like, I didn't follow Dave Ramsey to the T, getting out of credit card debt, and I'm still out of credit card debt. And I know his plan is a great plan, but some, it just it, it's, it's not realistic for me and my lifestyle. Um, if it was, you know, I would do it. So, uh, that's where I am. Those are my struggles. And if you have any advice on them please share i also plan on giving you updates on how i overcome them because again i don't like focusing on the problems and i would just build anxiety on top of anxiety if i just continue to walk around and say oh my gosh i'm not motivated to pay my car like i, I need to move on which is what again with that's what makes it a struggle for me is because i cannot move past the problem to a solution but i i am i would like to update you guys on what solutions solution or solutions i tried and which solution or solutions worked for me so i need to get back in the routine of regularly um what is the word i'm looking for regularly uploading i you know I, again i've treated myself <laughs> Uh, I got first I got the the new phone and then I ordered the like the phone case to put my phone up on. I also ordered me a tripod, a microphone and like a little light clamp ring that goes on my phone. So, I feel like now that I and since I can do iMovie for, at work, you know, like in meetings and stuff like the one I'm about to go into and at games and stuff, um I feel like I sorry, subscribe, watch comment please i i enjoy your comments again but it's probably because i haven't got any negative ones just yet so thank you and if you please have if you have any feedback please help me if you're wondering what this is this is my lunch it's a quinoa salad in a jar because i have a very busy day today so i'm getting ready to pop this in the microwave sit in my meeting eat this listen and edit so see you later guys thanks for watching bye